So I guess Jeremy would have been previously in lot number nine. And then after I moved over to this lot here, then Laura stage switched her lot with Jeremy's. Because remember, Jeremy and Mina, I want to say they were in lots right next to each other. I don't think they were one apart. I'm trying to remember. No, I think they were right next to each other. And so initially, Laura and Mina were in number 10, and Jeremy was in number 9. And then when I moved from lot number 29 over to this open lot here that was by the kayak launch, then Laura stage switched her lot with Jeremy's. Jeremy had already gone off to, on vacation, so she moved her rig, her she and Mina's rig, over into Jeremy's lot. And I was like, um, all right. It was like Jeremy okay with you taking his lot. I mean, I didn't, I didn't ask that or anything, but I was just like, hmm, okay. <laughs> I barely noticed actually that she, but she pointed it out because I had my own things I was like worrying about with this new lot and all that. And then she pointed out something like that she moved over into his lot. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. I get it. Like, I'm thinking that she, I guess she would have had to have cleared that with him beforehand. Because that would have been rude, right? Like, if she just, like, moved right into his lot when he was out on vacation, when she knew, like, he was coming back and he'd been working there well before her, you know. So I guess she called him up and was like, hey, can I move into your spot and you can have my spot? Um, can I move into number nine? You can have number ten, I guess. And it, th let's see how they switched it when they renumbered. And then she switched it right around the time they renumbered. So what was what were their numbers then when they switched? Ah, when they switched the numbers around, she switched it over so that she was number eight. She was an eight. She was uh, well. She was twenty in number twenty six. She and me know we're number twenty six, which adds up to eight numerologically. And uh, boss Jeremy was in number was in lot number twenty seven then, which two and seven adds up to nine. Number nine, and let's go back and have a look, just in case you don't remember. In the last lineup, he was also that lot that he was in. This corner lot was number nine. Ah, oh, I see. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. Hmm. Hey, Jeremy, did you know that I also have found a lot to do with the number nine while investigating this network of creeps? <laughs> have you ever heard of um, the order of nine angles? A lot of stuff's been popping up about them. I mean, nine factors in a lot, in a lot of ways, but that's that's one of the creepier angles. I've, <laughs> no pun intended, but it should have been. <laughs> that is one of the creepier creepier aspects I've, that's been popping up in my research and having to do with the number nine is is that little group, Ana, Ona, whatever, the order of nine angles. Ugh. A lot of child abuse accusations following them around. Anyway, so you seem to like the number nine, Jeremy. That's interesting. Boss. Hmm. Why don't we leave it there? How come this dude is still working at that fucking ranch? First of all, okay, he had a 16-year-old try to figure out what my religion was for him. Um, 
coward. And, oh, but he's somehow brave enough to guide horseback rides out on a beach. Okay. Um, he's creepy as fuck in so many ways. And then this. You with your nines, mister. Ugh. Is it, is it like a flaccid penis? It does kind of... I mean, the nine always reminded me of a flaccid penis. I'm just, I'm just saying. Anyway, um... Yeah, let's just leave it there. Good night.